everyone, welcome to the channel. Um, I just wanted to do a video about some underrated guns here in Cold War that I have been using and it's made a huge, huge difference in my gameplay. I'm on a short vacation here from work and I my KD has risen from 1.04, which I'm not a very good player, but um, in the week that I've been playing, it's went up 0.4, so it's like 1.4 or something. And uh, for me, that's really good. Um, I know everyone in the world's got a 3KD, blah, 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 yeah, whatever. Anyway, um, anyway, I wanted to go over a couple underrated weapons, like really good weapons. One of them is a Groza, which I'm holding right there. Other one, which I wanted to briefly go over, is the RPD. This LMG is really, really good. I only have it at level 29, um, but man, it it wrecks people. But the problem with this gun is the ADS and the movement speed with it. So I don't have this like where I want it yet, but this is a pretty good loadout. Um, I'm using the Vision Tech 2.0 because it's a really nice sight. Um, it's, it doesn't magnify too much. You can still do some medium to close range with it. Um, so that's the one I've been using for that. Uh, be, just because you have to be a little bit more campy with this thing, I think. With the LMGs in this game. Um, the muzzle, I'm using the uh, whatever this, this muzzle. But I, I want to get this one, the KGB Eliminator. Um, I want to get that unlocked at 38. And uh, that'll be good. So, the barrel. Of course, I'm using the, the last barrel, which is just unlocked from this legendary uh, blueprint that I have. Um, but, like, uh, unlocking some of these grips is where it's at. Like... Movement speed, sprinting speed, shooting movement, shooting movement speed, aim walking speed, um, the handle, aim down sight time, which eventually I want to get to this one, the 30% aim down sight time, and when you unlock that, um, this one's already part of the bl blueprint, sprint to fire time. So that makes up for some of the, you know, the, the slow moving part of having an LMG. Like it's really noticeable in this game. Um, so, you know, I'm just waiting to unlock this because that 30% aim down sight time is huge for this thing because it's so slow. Right now I got 10%. Um, I want to unlock this one obviously next. And use that one next these ones I don't really use on any guns like the drop shot wrap or the field tape flinch resistance you can get that with some of these other ones with aim down sight time with very little penalty um, sprint to fire time I don't really understand the sprint to fire time thing I think that's the time when you're sprinting and you pull the gun up to your face ADS it I think that's the penalty for that but I don't know. I don't really know, understand all the, you know, I'm not a nerd that studies this stuff, so I don't know. Anyway, that's kind of that gun. Um, I got a 2.01 KD with this gun, which I don't, I like using it, but I don't like using it as much because it's just not as fun as like running around, running and gunning, you know. Um, but this gun right here, this gun, the Groza, is amazing. Um, when I first started using it, um, I seen a YouTube video, and it was kind of like, hey, this gun from medium to close range is freaking awesome. The rate of fire is really high on it. Um, and But the reload's great. The handling's a little weird at first until you start unlocking some of these attachments but all in all this gun is I think pr 
probably the best in the game. I know everyone's using the Mac-10 or whatever, but from long range, from 40 meters to 2 meters, I think this gun is the best gun. Um, for me, someone that's not a very good player, to have, you know, I think I got like a 1.8 KD with it, or 1.7. And, you know, that's good for me. Like, that's really good. So, um, I'm not lying. <laughs> uh, I was using this Microflex LED, which is a good sight. It's nice and clear. You can see a lot because it's a thin frame. But I feel like the target acquisition with it was kind of off. Like I'd snap to my target and my red dot would just be a little bit off where it should be. But this one, I feel like snaps to your target better. And it doesn't have any um, ADS um, penalty, per se. Um, whoops, took it off. Um, so I've been using that one on a lot of my guns, the Hawksmoor. It's really good. Um, it gives you a nice, clear picture, too. The muzzle, I use a KGB Eliminator. Muzzle flash concealment and vertical recoil. Some of these you got to be careful, like some of these, like, oh, I got, uh, I got vertical re recoil reduction with some of these, and then I look closer at them, and, I mean, all these are vertical, but a lot of them on some of these guns are horizontal, just side to side, so, I don't know, I have a harder time with the vertical recoil than I do the side to side, um, and to me, I mean, if you look at the last supposedly best suppressor, you get 100% flash concealment, but look at the damage range and bullet velocity. Here, you don't have that. You just have slight shooting movement speed and horizontal recoil. That's it. That's virtually not a penalty for this thing. Plus, you still get a lot of muzzle flash concealment. So I'm using that muzzle, the barrel. I'm always using this third barrel on all my guns because it gives you bullet velocity and damage range with very little penalty. You look at some of these, like, you lose a magazine, all you get is strafe speed and a little bit of damage, but the damage range goes down by 40%. That's a lot. That, that, that muzzle is not worth it. Um, or barrel, excuse me. That barrel is not worth it. Strafe speed, big deal. I mean... And you lose effective damage range. Yeah, there's no penalty on this one, but it's only 25%. This one's 40% and 100%. Aim walking movement speed, that's just strafing back and forth. That's not even going to be noticeable. So this is a barrel I use on most all my guns. Um, I use this target design, the reveal distance, 60% with no penalty. Like, all these other ones are great or whatever, but this one gives you no penalty, and it's 60% reveal distance. It's easier to see. Under barrel, I'm using this grip. I don't even know how to say that, but whatever. Um, we lose shooting movement speed. Big deal. Magazine. I'm using this magazine. It's 50 round fast mag. Look at all those pros with 25% aim down sight time. Which sucks, but we make up for it with the handle because we get 30% aim down sight time. So we're plus 5%, and we got flinch resistance. And we lose slightly lose a little bit of shooting movement speed and sprint to fire time. <coughs> but with this pad, we gain plus 30% sprint to fire time and aim walking movement speed. So all the penalty that we had with some of these attachments, we get it back with the handle and the stock. So it makes this gun really, really nice. And the recoil on it is virtually non-existent. It just jumps around in a slight little pattern 
and uh, it's really fun to use because it shoots fast, it reloads fast, and uh, once in a while it can be a little spongy, like you feel like you're hitting guys but you're not doing real damage, and then sometimes, man, it drops too quick. And that could just be all perception, like maybe I'm hitting them too low or whatever, but um, I think that happens with most all these guns. But consistently, this gun is really, really good. And uh, of course, the AK-74U is really great. Everyone knows about that. I'm using, I've barely been using the MAC-10. But the M4, XM4 is really good as well. I've been using this gun quite a bit. And it's really nice. Um, anyway, take a look at some of those attachments. And take a look at the Groza and the RPD. I use the RPD in uh, Warzone. I drop two guys like really quick with it. It's a really great gun. Um, but yeah, check out the Groza. Hope everyone has a great new year. And uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks a lot.